the uh, wildfire in Arizona. My goodness. It's hard to believe. I mean, when it's been moving in here, it seems like it's in our own backyard, you yeah. know, because it's so thick. And unfortunately, it's not getting any better anytime no. soon. But these guys have the right idea. It's a little smoky in here, Coach, do you think? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can you see the mask? Where's that at? Do you know where that's at? North Valley Little League, oh, wow. actually. Yeah, and they are the champions. Coach Vincent, good idea there, bringing those masks in for the for the seven and eight year old guys. So, yeah, you definitely may want to grab those for the next few days. We're going to have to deal with smoky conditions at least for the next few days. Of course, better in the afternoons, but in the evenings, that's when things start to get a little worse. And right now, it doesn't look too bad, but of course, you can see the haze. This is the view from our Sandia Peak Cam, and very hazy out there. And that is going to be the case again for the next several. Days wind south southwest at six miles per hour, so not too breezy right now. But later on, we are going to be looking at those gusts up near 35, 40 miles per hour, perhaps for the East Mountains. Stronger winds that will be out to the north and west. We are warming up quickly, 63 degrees up at Sandia Peak, and it's even warmer in the metro area. The heat is going to be sticking around too. But let's talk about the wind. Wind cranking back up this afternoon. We got a little bit of a break from the wind over the weekend, but southwest winds, those are going to send the smoke back our way again. We're already seeing the haze now. But the biggest impacts are going to be across northwestern and central New Mexico. That's where the smoke is going to be the thickest. In fact, we do have wind advisories up in the northwestern part of the state. Winds here could gust to 50 miles per hour. So, certainly not good news there. And those winds are going to be out of the southwest right on through Thursday, as it looks right now. So, no good news there. But we are seeing some shower and thunderstorm activity, not anywhere out west, but down in the Sacramento. As you can see, a couple of thunderstorms have popped up here. Moving on out to the east, so over in southeastern New Mexico, if those storms hold together, you may see a few spot thunderstorms, and we'll even see the chance for a few storms up in the northern mountains and across the northeast plains. So windy and dry in the northwest, partly cloudy with spot storms across the central and northeast plains. High pressure builds in for tomorrow, though, so going into tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at more sunshine, and those storm chances extremely slim. We're going to be looking at mainly dry conditions. And the heat is on. Look at the numbers already in the 90s, 91 in Carlsbad, 90 in Roswell, 80. To in Albuquerque, and today is going to be hot, but it's going to get even hotter over the next couple of days, especially in the southeast. You'll see those numbers coming up in just a moment. North and west areas of smoke today, you're going to get it the worst here, looking at temperatures in the mid 80s, 87 over in Grants and down into the 40s tonight. Winds will die down a little bit tomorrow, but still be out of the southwest, so more smoke to deal with tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. May see a straight thunderstorm up near Durango and then mostly sunny after that. South and west areas of smoke here too. Temperatures will be in the middle and upper 90s. The smoke won't be as bad here. Windy conditions are persist right on through Thursday with temperatures in the 80s and 90s for Silver City, so a warm week for us here. South and east, hot, sunny, just a slight chance for a few thunderstorms. We already have those storms popping up out of the Sacramento. Minnows moving that way. We'll be dealing with hot temperatures for the next few days. Wind not too bad today, but certainly ramping up Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And look at the numbers 101 on Tuesday, 103 on Wednesday, and that is certainly going to add to the fire danger too. Northern east, partly cloudy. A few stray thunderstorms are possible this afternoon with highs in the 90s for most everyone. Las Vegas, 80s for the next few days. May see a thunderstorm tomorrow, then mostly sunny Wednesday and Thursday, and those temperatures staying in the low to mid 80s. Northern mountains, a few thunderstorms are possible this afternoon. Afternoon, pretty windy too, gusting the 40 miles per hour. Santa Fe, windy conditions today and tomorrow, right on through Thursday, out of the southwest with highs in the middle and upper 80s. For the East Mountains, partly cloudy, hazy, breezy, with temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s. And your forecast for the metro areas of smoke developing again this afternoon. Temperature wise, low to mid 90s. There's a slight chance we may see a thunderstorm this afternoon, perhaps tomorrow afternoon too, but chance is pretty slim. Basically, just looking at more wind, windy, breezy to windy conditions through Thursday and out of the southwest. So that smoke, worse at night, but definitely an issue for the next few days. I know you'll be following it. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Kristen. The city of Al